Now onto real makeup. Sorry if you kept you waiting. We didn't really get any like cosmetics, like skincare cosmetics from Edit House. We did get quite a bunch of makeup. Yeah. <laughs> this this, yeah. this is all of our actual makeup. So we're just start Starting with this, the newest, biggest trend in Korea, cushions. We tested as many of them as possible and both of these guys ended up uh, getting the one from Etude, actually. It's really strange because we were both like, oh, Etude, no, maybe not. But in the end, it was the one that fit our skin the best. Yeah, it, it felt the best when trying it out and also it's one of the cheapest ones because cushions can get crazily expensive. And it, we, we were both really scared that we'd run out so fast, but it's not running out yet, so fingers crossed there might be more in there than we expected. Yeah. And then I got backups for my, well, it's the Total Age Repair Wrinkle Reduce Royal BB Cream by Etude in the lightest color, and also for my CC Cream, the silky one, because I really like them. And then I was hunting this. Um, I never saw the right shade and then at the end I asked a shop assistant and she was like we have one but the packaging is damaged so you don't want to buy it and I was like yes I do <laughs> want to buy it thank you but yeah um, it's the cotton fit whitening and anti-wrinkle anti-darkening um, in NO2 which is my shade basically and this one is matte or like more matte than the, the other one I have so I really wanted this one and then while we were there, or shortly before, or whatever, uh, we both ran out of our Proof 10 eye primer, so we had to repurchase it. It's a really good eye primer, you should try it. Even if you're not into Korean cosmetics, it's really good. Really good. So much cheaper than the high-end brands out there. Yeah. Um, so being completely well in love with the Lock and Summer Cushion, I got the Lock and Summer Cushion Eyeliner. Then I got a cream eyeshadow. None of us is a big fan of the Etude powder eyeshadows, but I was really interested in trying this one out. It's called the Look at My Eyes Pearl Shadow Base. It's not really a base, it's a cream eyeshadow, but it's really nice. And then Etude uh, just released something awesome and new. It's their My Brows eyebrow mascara I would call it. it looks like a mascara but you put it on your eyebrows um it's it's a really nice product we all really loved it um <laughs> as you can see we have five colors because Lisa bought this color and really didn't like it it's too red it yeah. doesn't fit my hair at all so we bought this color being really happy because it really fit her finding out this is a concealer actually <laughs> If, if you have dark hair, that is. So. Yeah, I guess. So now so. I conceal my eyebrows every day. <laughs> Good for you, isn't it? Um, I got this color, which is not as dark as it looks, but it has a red, red tint to it as well, so it fits my mm. me. And then Greta got this one, right? Mm, no, no, that one? Problem. I got <laughs> that one, and I liked it very much. But the packaging from this one looks like the color that's in that one, so I repurchased the wrong one. Yeah. yeah. There are six colors. I don't know which one we're missing, but there's a five out of six colors that you can get this product in. And we really liked it. I think it's one of our favorites from. Yeah. Yeah. I think we're probably missing the darkest one. Yeah. Probably. Know, yeah. The last thing from the Lock and Summer collection, and the only thing I think from the Lock and Summer collection that did not come in um, cushion, cushion form, form <laughs> is this tint. I don't. It says color lips fit. I think it's a tint, but it's not really a tint because it's too heavy. But it's really pretty and it looks just like it looks in the tube on your lips. Um, so I got the Dream Fit Coral from the Color Lips Fit. I really don't like it. I don't know, it doesn't work with my lips. Um, but it works really good on Maren, so <laughs> that's a plus. <laughs> uh, this is Brave Fit Berry for the color, just. But those are pretty nice from Etude, I think, in general, so if you're looking for some lip tints, these are nice. And then I got 
two of the ice tint balms. I got this one first and then I liked it so much that I also got the red one. They are cooling, it's really funny. Yeah. And that's everything for Matthew! Yay! Yay. <laughs> Next up, once again, Face Shop. Well, we did buy a lot of um, cosmetics, but not a lot of makeup. So, um, on the first day, I got the lip tint stick. It's also here in French. I don't understand, but this one is in the color, I think, Sweet Berry. Um, yeah, it's not really berry, it's pretty pink. Um, but it's really beautiful. I have it on my lips right now. It's gorgeous. I loved it so much and I really tried the other ones as well. And I wanted a an orangey shade or a peach shade. And I got this one, which is orange on the outside. And then the thing is pretty peachy, I guess. It's in the shade um, Sweet Peach, I think. And it's not really peach on my lips. It's also, it comes out pretty pink too. Uh, but it has a little peach tint to it. And I love these because they are really moisturizing. They are really, really good for the lips. So, and they give you a little bit. I love that. <laughs> and then I decided I wanted a everyday color kind of lipstick. So we went to the face shop who had a sale at that moment. So I decided to splurge and got two lipsticks. <laughs> the one I'm wearing right now is the Overgirl Edge Lip Crayon in color BE01 whatever it, it it's it's a beige color it's quite hard to open and it has this cool shape that makes it really nice to like color the bow of your lips and then this one which has a pretty similar shape but they're really pretty both of them and this one is really pretty really cheap and they're almost okay priced so got both of them Next up is Innisfree, and we kind of got crazy on the BB cream. It's really nice. I, I think I found my new BB cream. It's the Innisfree Nozeboom BB Cream SPF 30 PA++. It's the Nozeboom one. They have two other kinds. So this is really pretty, and this, is, this has a nice scan to it, in my opinion. Also, since both of us have the same Exactly the same skin skin color. I got one for me as well. I was really excited to try um, this because people talked about it. It's the industry skinny mascara, skinny waterproof micro micro-cara, Sorry, it's really skinny. Like yeah. I'm just gonna show this quickly <laughs> to you. It's, it's tiny, but it works really well on me because I like natural lashes, and I have pretty long and full lashes, so I just use this and it just gives it a nice color tint. I also got it in brown, sadly brown is not waterproof. But um, we didn't really have problems with it. Yeah, it's pretty waterproof already, even though it doesn't say it's waterproof. So black is waterproof, and then I also got a waterproof um, refill, basically, in case I run out of this. But yeah, I was, I was positively surprised, I might say. <laughs> yeah. And then I got the Innisfree Powerproof. Powerproof pen liner in black, real black. Yeah, that's what it's called. I, I saw this on Get It Beauty. If you know that channel, I really want to try it. I haven't opened it yet because I have another one. <laughs> yeah, and then I also got one lip product. That's the Innisfree Creamy Tint Lip Mousse. It's number three, but since there's something printed over it, I have no idea what the. Really it's pretty. number three. I wanted to get one too, but it's the one I'm wearing. <laughs> it's bright neon if you put it on, but I really like it. Um, next stop is uh, Nature Republic, and we might have a theme going on about buying crazy amounts of lip products this vacation, because is... we we bought five of these friends. We bought more. We, bought more, but we, we sold, sold the rest. Them. Yeah. So these are the Nature Republic by Flower lip balms. I guess that's their name. Yeah. They have Exo's face in there. Yeah. That's yeah, where that's, we bought them. But yeah. But we were positively surprised because they actually take care of your lips pretty well, and they have a nice tint to them, and they have a nice skin as well. Yeah. Like, even even rose smells okay. This is yeah. peach. Peach smells pretty nice. Then there's um, lemon, which smells yeah, like lemon. lemon candy. It's really delicious. And then there's rose. When we all are wearing them, they look different on all of us. That's kind of 
the thing with mo most of the products we bought this time. But yeah, we will do blog posts, like in-depth blog posts about all of the stuff. Just check out our blog every now and then and you should be able to find updated reviews about all of those things. If you have anything you want us to review quickly, just leave it in the comments down below. And then I also got the Botanical Echo Crayon Lip Rouge. <laughs> Yeah. They are really hard to find because they just brought out two, uh, two or three new shades. Like normally you can only find shades one to five, and yeah, then they brought out six, seven, and eight just recently. So it's quite hard to find them. Next up is Holika Holika. Uh, well, <laughs> well, we didn't get that much from. We just the stores don't seem too professional. Yeah. I might yeah. say. Also the. The selling assistants. Not all of them, but most of them are a little. Yeah. Yeah. There are more pro professional stores out there. Yeah. But nonetheless, we love their eyeliner. The jewel, what jewel light waterproof eyeliner is the best eyeliner out there, in our opinion. So they come in thousands of colors by now. So you might want to try them. We got the pink one that you can use as a highlighter. And we got the brown one, and we got a backup for the black one. Because so ours like, yeah, it is big really now. Small. Now we have some small bits and bits from different stores. We have, for example, the Tony Moly Aqua Aura Cooling Cushion CC Cream. This this was a freebie if you bought something like over fifty thousand, I think. Mm. And we haven't tried it yet because it looks. Terrifying, super spacey. We, it's like a spray bottle. And then so you feel like you spray paint yourself, but you have a sponge applicator too. And it even comes with a second sponge applicator. And we don't know if it's our shade. And no idea about this, but we will probably test this and make a video for you because it looks so fun, really interesting, spacey. And we will probably end up loving it. And then yeah, we'll... yeah. <laughs> probably. That's what happens. Yeah, from the Sam. Yes, yeah. we watched Hover Jelly's uh, favorites video for a few months back, I think. And Greta and I always are on the hunt for good concealer, so she said this was really good. This is from the Sam, and it's called the Color Perfection Tip Concealer. This is the lightest color. I, it is. We use it for under the eye, and it's it's really nice. It's it, the coverage is pretty good, and it doesn't really dry out too much. So no, it works. It works. It's it's nice. And the same is also one of these shops where you're like, <laughs> what's going on in here? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But, but this is this is really good compared to many concealers which we've tried before. This is good. <laughs> If you want us to tr to talk about some of the stores, like how it looks in there, we will do a video about that eventually, I guess. Cool. Okay, moving on um, to Too Cool for School, which is an awesome store, but sadly the uh, people working there are too cool for you as well, most of the time. <laughs> um, so what I got is the Too Cool Art Class pen. Um, basically, it's one of those makeup corrector pens where if your eye makeup is like all over the place, you just use it with this side and then you use the sponge and get it all off. And it's really, really cool. Um, sadly, it melted a little bit and I I put the cap into the pen and I'm really sad now. But I might buy it again because it was, it was pricey, but it was really good. And I got the quick drawing tip liner in calm black and it says it's fixing and long lasting and it is long lasting it, it doesn't go anywhere the whole day in the burning heat so this is really good as well as mentioned up here we make this awesome potato uh, <laughs> sleeping pack but they also do make decorative cosmetics and we shopped a bit there so I got the natural BB cream in flawless color um, the brightest shade. I got this because it was so cheap. And then I got the Silky Moist Mineral Pack. It's basically just a pressed powder and it's extremely light. And it's, it's exactly my color so I repurchased this one. 
And then Greta got uh, the Apu Fruits candy stick in a really pretty color. It's cranberry. cranberry. It, so we think it's just <laughs> supposed to smell like cranberries. It smells like grapes. So it's not bad, it's just yeah, it's not, it's not it's confusing. It, it not, it's not what it tells you. <laughs> yeah. And then I got, I also got the painting tint it's in CRO3. Basically, yeah. so it's coral. Yes, it's coral. <laughs> yeah, I think so. And I think this was on sale. That's why I bought it. Yeah, yeah. Decided to try this one. And then the last store where we got makeup was Pity Peter. I got myself. I'm not a big fan of Frozen. Um, I validated that on the fly, but I got myself a watery face pride up. What kind of name is this? That's, that's like um, the worst name ever. It's, it's basically just another cushion and it's a bit brighter. It's in peach beige. And the reason why I got this is because um, I have the powder in peach beige from Peri Peta. It's really good. It's just my skin type. It's peachy. That's my skin. I'm pink. Um, and also <laughs> what they offered is that you got a free refill, pretty sure with this so I have the cushion and the refill but it's more for winter than for summer um, that's why I haven't used it yet and then Lisa also got one of the love fairy lipsticks and this one is in number one ready for kiss it looks extremely light it's it turns pretty pink on the yeah. lips and its packaging is just adorable I also got one <laughs> in uh, oh yeah, in Magic of Love number five. This is the packaging. I can't for the life of me find this lipstick. I really hope I, I will find it again because I really really loved it. And again, those are those types of lipsticks that look different on everyone. Yeah. It's pretty funny. And then. As a last thing, we thought we should talk nail polishes. This time around, we were really strong, we really held back because sometimes, you know, when you tend to buy thousands of nail polishes and never use them, mm -hmm. but we were, we were pretty strong. They're always one plus one though. Wherever yeah. you go, it's yeah. always like, oh, one plus one on nail polish. And you're like, I, I don't need this, but mm -hmm. I'm just gonna have a look. Um, let's start with Etude House and Etude House has this new series they just released when we got there it's the Princess Happy Ending series everything so is, is in book form this is like one of the only packages we brought back home because it's so pretty they are um, Disney Princess themed so this one is Belle oh. and it's so cute and this one is Jasmine from, from Aladdin and they also come with stickers, so um, yeah, just throw stickers and tiaras in here. So these these were really hard to resist. These two, those are just simple glitter nail polishes from their regular collection, and we try to get them off yeah. our nails. No. It do it doesn't budge. So we um, decided to buy Innisfree nail polishes. <laughs> But yeah, this is uh, in color number four, and this is in group three. three yeah. We're really exciting. <laughs> they have other really pretty nail polishes as well, and and they are pretty high quality. They stay on yeah. quite a while. And the last thing, yes, you made it to the mm. end of this haul. Um, I have products. I remember us all saying that we would not try any Korean hair products. Worked out well. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Um, the first thing Greta got was this is the Etude House Silk Scarf Hologram Hair Serum, and it's basically supposed to get rid of your frizz, and it did. I was pretty much I was very surprised because I didn't really think Etude House would be making any good hair products. I'm sorry, <laughs> but yeah, it works, especially in the humid humid air in Korea. Really good. Yeah, and it was so good that we uh, decided to repurchase uh, it. And then on our last day, we uh, stumbled into Innisfree, something that seemed to have happened a lot of times, seeing how much we bought there. And um, we got the Camellia Curling Hair Essence. As you see, we both have curly hair. 
so we decided this could be a good thing. Um, you tried it so far and you liked yeah. it. I, I, I feel like this is actually better than the ones I tried in Germany. So much for Korean hair products don't work on our hair. Now, that's everything we got. Keep in mind we had two months to um, buy all of this. And we already started using a lot mm. of those products yeah. because we didn't really bring that much to Korea. Yeah. yeah, a lot of the products, as you pro as you've probably seen, were already used by us in Korea, and we are three people, so obviously we bought quite a bit. And then we liked some products and needed to buy them again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, it was sale. Sale is really hard in Korea. Yeah, that's true. And. All of us usually only buy things we definitely plan on using, so none of these things are going to go to waste or anything. Uh, we hope you liked this haul. Uh, we sure did. <laughs> if you want to see any reviews, any details on anything you saw in this haul, please let us know because, as we said, most of the stuff we've used already, so we can tell you a few things about them. And also, as Maren already mentioned, mentioned just Keep on a watch out for our blog because we might be releasing swatches for the makeup products there, time after time. And um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, if you want to see reviews for any of these things we bought, then think about subscribing to our channel because eventually those videos will come up and then you will be notified. And if you have any future recommendations for us on what to buy, please let us know in the comments as well, because we're always curious to try out new stuff. Um, that's just being said, even though we have a lot of new stuff to yeah. try out for now. <laughs> yeah. Also, if you own any of the things we bought, just tell us how they worked out for you. That would be interesting to see. And besides all that, we will hopefully see you again very, very soon. Bye! Bye. We we have a problem, maybe. It was a recommendation by our friend and I'm really glad she recommended it because it's, it's pretty good. Um, cream. So, uh, <laughs> we, <laughs> we enable each other so yeah. much. Yeah. Products ever. Yeah. It was on Get It Beauty. And it's cute. So, <laughs> I wanted to tell it again. It was like, oh, yeah. cream. We, we, all of us, we want to eat.